Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Once again, my name is Mark and today we're gonna be doing another unboxing video. So thank you for all the subscribers and thank you for all the new people who just started following me, my page, my Facebook page and my Instagram page. And it's been a while that I haven't uploaded any videos at all because I've been very busy with my personal life on the side. And then now I decided to make another un unboxing video for you guys to keep you guys updated on what's happening in our collection and our breeding projects as well. So um, without further ado, we can start unboxing these two boxes that I have on the side. And also I've got another box on this side that I collected from my friend yesterday or last night. So um, let's start with this box here on the side. And I believe this one is a mature male that we're gonna be using for our breeding project. So let me open this one here. Amazing. So this one is an uh from the Palma Palcodis. And this one is mature male, mature male because we already have our um, adult female that I've been conditioning already for for months now. And I managed to find a male finally because they're actually quite hard to find in the UK right now. So basically tarantulas in the UK are very hard to find at the moment. Very limited. And that's why if you see a nice tarantula, you have to grab it straight away or else it's going to go to someone else. So let me... Just um, take the napkin off so I could let you guys see how it looks like. Okay, he's actually upside down. And I'm not sure if he's gonna be very cooperative with us today. starting to flick straight away just give me one second i'm just gonna take off the napkin so you guys can see him and that's our mature male up in the palma calcodis there you go oh look at those balls so we're gonna leave him on the side and then we're gonna re op uh, open the next box get this one here at the bottom amazing so this box uh, came from my friend as well and this will be for our future breeding project so they're all Asian species old world let me just open this one and they're both rare as well in the hobby right now so at the moment I'm trying to focus to um, gather all the rare tarantulas for the, all our breeding project cool So in here, we have our So this is our Ornithoctonine um, Dava Oriental or Mindanao Oriental So in the hobby it was uh, Mindanao Oriental but now they change all the names to be more specific So now they are the Dava Orientals So two females here and they're both juvenile. I'm gonna try to check if they're okay. I'm not gonna be. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to take them out. But I will definitely post some photos on my Instagram later on. And so basically, I've got males for this already. That's why I managed. I literally was so eager to grab this female, and she's all right. And then the other one, let's check. They're quite in a bolted position, so I'm actually not going to try to rehouse them at the moment because I haven't done my houses as well. So I'm just going to rehouse them later on, or I might do it in a separate video. I'm not sure if I will have time enough time later on because I've got some appointments in the afternoon. So next here, we have our lovely Seriopagopus Valala. 
So this one, uh, this two is a pair. Um, they're both juvenile size as well. Probably N5. So N5, I would say, is around six to seven centimeters. Amazing, she moved. Okay, so she's alive. And this one, this is the male. So I'm just really gonna try to check if they're alive. Yep, alive as well. So, we have our two Ornithoctoninae Davo Oriental or Mindanao Oriental. And then we have our two, a uh, couple, a uh, pair of Cereopagopis Valala. So this will be our future breeding projects. And now is the final box. So this box is actually open already because I actually uh, collected them yesterday, as I said a while ago. And they are kind of like semi rehoused already, so it's easier for me as well. So first, I will go to this um, gorgeous species, uh, Theraposine, um, S.B. Rowatson, or this is the purp uh, Rowatson purple, or purple Rowatson, something like that. <laughs> so basically, I'm my, um, there are none of them in the hobby as well. I mean, there are quite few of them in the hobby, but no one literally sell adult males or females, but I was really lucky to get them. And um, they are really slow growers. So this one, um, this particular pair was born um, do not refer very much April. So April 2014, which was literally nine years ago, and the female just literally matured this month. And the male, I'm still waiting for another molt. Um, this he could probably mature on the next molt. So I'm gonna try to just show them to you quickly because they're a bit bolty. Put it down. There we go. So that is the uh, Theraposine SV Rowatan. So this one is the female. Let me leave her on the side. And the male is here. The male is brown and the female is purple. So probably they're sexually dimor uh, dimorphic. So you could tell easily which one is which. And this one is the male. As you can see, he's brown. Amazing. So, next, we have here our slings, our gorgeous slings. Back, back, so back, this, back, back. Um, the next ones will be our um, Zenestis or Zenestis um, collection. So I have here a pair of Zenestis white. So they're an N2, and they are both sex already, and they are paired. So let me find the female. So female is here. And I believe she is in on um, pre mode. So that is my sling, grown sling, basically, yeah, it's grown sling. So that's this white. Let me leave her on the side. And the male is here. Amazing. So next. We have another rare tarantula right here, which is the Synestis. I, I don't really know how to pronounce it properly, so please, um, I apologize if I pronounce the scientific name wrong, because I'm not good with scientific names. Though I actually know tarantulas now more um, more than on, on scientific names than the English or regular common name. So. Here we have the Synestis Light, that is the female. Oh, she's the one actually that is on heavy pre mode. And she's on N2. So she might be molting anytime soon. Gorgeous species. And then here we have our gorgeous male. Oops, let me put it this way. Perfect. So now we're gonna move forward to more Senesis species. Let me leave this one here. And then now here we have our sub-adult female um, 
Synestis or Zenestis, Zenabi, Zenabi, whatever. Synestis um, SP White. That is our sub adult female. Look at those gorgeous white legs. As you can see, oh, very stunning species. They're one of my favorite now. And then I've got a male for her already, so we're actually really, really good for it. And then we're just ready to go and wait for them to molt. Because I might, I'm gonna need to wait for her to molt at least one more before I will pair her. And then this one is a stunning, gorgeous specimen. We have here our Synestis Young Adult Female Synestis Bright. Look at that. Yeah, um, they're actually really itchy. <laughs> I felt it straight away how itchy they are. And to be honest, me with the tarantula hairs are actually, we're not friends <laughs> at all. So here we have probably one of my new favorites now. This is the Mega Phobema uh, Mizumellus. So I have here a pair as well, an adult pair. So, but they are. I believe young adult and they will have uh, more room to grow so this is my mega phobia mesomelis and I will post her photo on Instagram for sure and on my Facebook page so you guys can see her um, close up properly and then the last one here we have my sub adult male which will be slow down because I don't want him to mature anytime soon. Oops, and he flicks hair straight away. Look at that gorgeous piece. Those legs are just amazing. So, that's it for today. That's basically all the new tarantulas that we have for today. I mean, we had um, some more tarantulas who came this week, but then I didn't manage to make a video with them. And then we're probably gonna have some more coming um, next week. Um, but for today, that's basically all the tarantulas that we, we received from today and last night that I picked up from my friend. So once again, thank you guys for all the love and support that you've given me every time to my page, my Facebook page, my Instagram page, and my YouTube channel. And our channel is actually growing, which is actually really good. And thank you so much. I appreciate all your support and I mean it. <laughs> So please um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Um, click the subscription below, uh, subscription button down below, and we're gonna see you again later on probably. Or I might post some um, breeding project videos um, to keep you guys updated on what's happening in our collection. All right, so I'm heading off now, guys, because I've got appointment later on, and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.